So this product right here, the Danessa Myrex Yummy Skin. This is the second time I am applying it. And I use the True Match by L'Oreal. Oh, okay. Um, W5 Sand Beige. But I thought it would be the perfect foundation to use to um, test this because I I'm not going to use an inexpensive um, Sephora foundation and then help it with a primer because I believe that, that that's a primer. This foundation, what happens is that it settles into lines, into expression lines, and that's why I don't like it and I don't use it. And I'm getting ready to declutter it. You know what? Since I have that yummy skin uh, concealer, I am going to try it. Because maybe there is a foundation that you like, but um, sometimes you just want it to perform a little better. I'm gonna now um, use the Mario in shade light medium this brush this is um uh, sephora 93 and i'm gonna use i don't know if i like this it's got a gray undertone I'm going to use this um, Sephora brush, uh, number 205. And this is a cream powder. Oh, a cream product. Okay, so this product, it's not sculpting or anything. I think it's got too much gray and it doesn't sculpt, it just bronzes. Those are cars. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the concealer again to do the nose. I'm gonna go again with this lipstick and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna apply it differently this time.
So I'm applying it like an, a lip liner. I really love this color. Now I'm gonna go with this new blush. It's new to me. I I have not tried this, but um, I tried the Freaky Peach, and I absolutely loved it, loved it. I have a video on that. So because I loved that one, I know that this one, uh, Fat Ass, is a popular one. So I wanted to try it. And this is another thing that I got. Okay. Oh, okay. It has a little. Okay. So this is the the item. There we go. That's the true color. <laughs> Do different things on different. Oh. Oh, very nice. Okay. And that's what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to do the... Oh my goodness, okay. This is the powder. Okay, so that is the difference between that's the power that's the this is the cream the cream and the powder oh my god oh Patrick Starr knows what he's doing with with blush this is another hit oh my god freaky peach when I as soon as I applied it I fell in love with it and this this would be like my number two it is only the the second one that I've tried from him but it I don't know it would not uh it would not be better than freaky peach because I love peach but look at that they kind of look the same like in terms of the finish this is the cream yeah this is the cream and this is the powder you can they look the same okay now i'm gonna apply the powder here on the cream and now the um the pow okay I forgot what where I did but what but now I'm just I'm mixing them both anyways that is a lot that is a lot uh, so both these things are from Patrick Star the lips and the I am so amazed I was not expecting this color. So I'm wiping it off so that I can make it look less, for it not to be so, oh my goodness. Okay, Patrick Star. Oh, these Patrick guys, they know how to do blush. Oh my god. It's just like the formula is amazing. I went down here too much. So I'm gonna maybe I should do it with the foundation brush. Yep, there we go.
That is beautiful. Okay, now that I toned it down, I don't know, like it's just, it. it's an okay, it's, the color is not absolutely wowing me anymore. But I'm going to put, maybe I took off a little too much. So I'm going to go in here with the powder. It's that nice blush that you can wear anywhere with any uh, makeup. It's that natural flush, but better. I don't think I have, so this color does look unique. It doesn't look like something else I have. Although it's just a pink, but it's like a, it's that pink that comes out of your, your like when I am, when it's cold, or when I'm working out, this is the shade of pink I get, but less than this. But that's kind of the color that my natural flush would be, but intensified. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the um, I'm gonna do the highlighter after. Now that the lips have dried, I'm gonna go in with the this product. I, I like it, but the formula is not so great. So I'm gonna, oh, this is reminding me of my Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose, like, the shimmer looks just like it. This looks pretty nice. Hmm. Okay, so what I was not liking about this lipstick before, that the matte color, the matte shade here, was very sticky. So today I used it as an outline and then put the shimmer on top. And this is not sticky, it just feels like any other gloss, but high gloss shine. I think I like this. And we're gonna set with the Kosas powder. A little sponge. And I'm gonna set this right here as well. This is such an awesome uh, powder. And I'm going to um, set, I'm going to go in with bronze now with uh, Patrick Toss, She's Bronze. Okay, so um, his new brush and 
So this one is practically gone. I'm going to go a little bit more with this. So Patrick Starr has a good formula. So now I'm thinking that maybe I should get his bronzers, but he, he only has powders, I believe. He has, um, same as this, like three bronzers of different shades, which is smart. You know what I noticed? Um, applying powder here to contour or chisel your chin area is not good. Like if you, if you pull it down here, going down here, because it will settle into, um, the folds of your, of your neck. Like when you're moving around, you know, it will go there. And then you have like lines. Uh, maybe powder is better. So this light medium is too is too light for contouring. It would just be like a if uh, you want to like wear no makeup and you just want to bronze a little bit, like you're going to the gym or you're going out for errands and you just want a little bit of contouring, um, bronzing you can use that but for this purpose that I'm using it now it's not great oh my god so I saw a video where um, Ben Affleck slammed the car door on JLo. Like JLo was already sitting in the car. Like he opened the door for her and then saw her sitting, go in the car, sit down, put her feet in, be perfectly in. He made sure that she was in. And then he just, boom. Oh my God. Oh my God, how embarrassing for JLo. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Like, I've been hearing rumors of things not going so well for them. And I mean, like, every couple has issues, right? I'm going to go in with the powder. She's bronze. Like, every couple has issues and this and that. And, like, the award or something, that, that event where they were on camera, like, bickering, is up, bickering or something like that. Um for like a short split second and I, like people were like oh my god like they are arguing they're like fighting camera. i was like that's normal come on like that's normal a little something it's normal um but then this i was shocked <gasps> oh my god Ooh. okay i'm gonna go in with the powder and back in here because I don't think that Mario thing worked. So I am still shocked. Oh my God. I could just imagine the fight they had at home after that because they both knew the paparazzis were there. So with using this product now, I'm trying to see if this is something that are these lights too great i don't know okay let me check <laughs> okay so if you see me um if you see different backgrounds or settings every time in this video is because i'm trying to figure out the lighting and positioning of different things so that's why it's just minor little things that i am such a perfectionist when it comes to 
several things and this lighting situation is something that is is it's important because if you if the lighting is not right the makeup doesn't look right like you can't really see the true colors okay so uh now i'm gonna go in with uh I'm continuing with uh patrick tars uh she's bronze and i'm gonna go here i don't know if i already did this And like JLo is going to all of these. So that happened around the time that she was promoting the movie Mother. And she was going to all of these um, interviews and promoting the movie. You can see them on YouTube. Um, she was everywhere, like The View, different different shows I saw. Oh, um, Live with Kelly and Mark. And she was like, oh, oh, Ben, it's amazing, Ben, this and that, and everything is great. And then we see this video, like, around the same time. Boom, the door. Oh, my God. I would have flipped because if, if for any reason she's, like, puts her hand near the door, her finger can disappear. Oh my God. And it was boom, a slam. I would have been like, I would have jumped. But I'm like, ah! <sighs> Just me looking at the video, I was like, oh, oh, I would have been pissed. Oh, that's so disrespectful. And he could have really hurt her. You don't play with things like that. Oh no. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and uh, set the whole makeup with this. And so this is the hourglass. And I am, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab it from here, which is just, it's just a little bit. Can you? Okay, so that's not good. I don't know, man. I'm playing with this lighting right now, and I don't know how it's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to set everything. Just a very light everyone. Just with what was on the cap, on this, yeah, on the cap which is not which is just like it's it this is where it stays i don't know about this lighting oh my god this lighting is making me nervous okay so we're done with that. The blush, it just looks like it's, it's, it's just your, not, there's, I don't know, like it's nice, but it's not like, oh wow, what are you wearing? It looks like, it, it doesn't look like every other blush that you see every day or like any generic blush. It looks like I would, if somebody, if I saw somebody wearing this, I'd be like, well, oh, that's nice. You know, um, I wouldn't, and I would not guess what it is because it's not, like, you know how sometimes there's popular blush color and everybody copies it then you can get 
copies, dupes, whatever, in many different brands. This, this color, I would not know what brand it is, but I can get something very similar from other blood brands, but this, you won't be able to get this exact thing, but very similar. We're gonna go in with the, um, this might change at all. The, um, the highlighter, okay. That might be a, here we go. Okay, we're gonna use this blush. And I'm gonna go lightly. What I like about this blush is like a, it's a pink, but it's got a hint of orange. So it's not completely pink. That's what I like about it. That's what makes it unique. Oh no, okay, so applying this just brings out the pores, the texture. Oh no. Oh no. It looks like it's just, it's better without it. Oh no. Like on camera, it might look good. Oh, no, okay. Let me see. Can we keep playing with it? I'm gonna bring it here because we want the cheeks to go right there. Okay, now it's reminding me of what I think Charlotte Tilbury's new wand, the, the red one, the red blush wand looks like. All of this together looks like that. It's like orgasm, but intense. Orgasm for people of people that have a tan, because the orga the uh, Nars orgasm does not show up on me. I I tried it I think once or twice and it did not show up on me and I was like, whoa, this is weird because so many people loved it. The two things do go together though. You know what? I'm curious. This would probably go good on the eyes as well like these two colors the uh powder blush and the highlighter i think would go good on the eyes but I'll, I'll, maybe i'll try it another time but today i want to continue try to try this again the um natasha denona retro palette Um, the first time I tried this, it was a disaster. It was horrible. I, I couldn't, I didn't even post that video because it just looked crazy. It looked like I could, it was horrible. I did post it on a short and that was it. Okay. So let's, um, go with this. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go with Nude Mauve, this one right here. And it, yeah, look, it's a Nude Mauve. That's a good description for, for this. So I'm going to uh, go in the crease. So this is a, um, um, Ariel and Morphe. I'm always using these brushes. They are super soft. That's beautiful. Yeah. And it goes nicely with this look. 
So we're doing like a pretty, pretty nice girl uh, face safe face uh, makeup look. very lightly oh my god Jayla must be so embarrassed because she's out telling the world how great Ben is and um there was one show uh there was one interview I saw where, where he, she was like, he is just, the way he communicates or the words that come out of his mouth are just so uh, descriptive and I don't want to say poetic, but like a writer, like a very articulate writer or like, like an artist, like... Is there, I mean, like, you know, he's a, he's an actor, he's all this stuff, right? But like, the way, like, she tried, she was saying that being around him is just so inspirational or like just a dream because he, he the way he communicates, it's just dreamy, so articulate. I think that's the word that she used, articulate. And then, oh my God, around that same week that she said that, he slammed the door on her. Oh my God, Ew. oh my God. She probably flipped on him at home. <gasps> oh, and then, and then that, when it gets to that point where somebody slams a door on you, it has been escalating for a little while. That just doesn't happen out of nowhere. So he must be like mad too, you know? Like something something got him to him. And it was just like a boiling situation for him to get there. And like for both of them, but so if J-Lo got mad over this, then he must, they must have an argument and he brought out his stuff and her, oh my God. Oh, I would not want to be J-Lo right now. Oh my God. That turned out to be purple more than nude mauve. This is a great purple. Oh my God. Is she sneaking in um, that retro glam? Glam retro glam in here? Because that's what I'm getting here. Now that I'm looking for a color, they all just seem uninspiring. Okay, this one right here looks kind of nice on camera. It's like a reddish orange. And I think I'm going to do it all over. Let's see how this goes. This is the second combination that I've done with her this palette. Hopefully it's not a disaster again.
for her formula is fantastic. This brush is fantastic too because it's so soft and it applies the makeup so nicely. Oh my god, JLo must be like, how am I gonna show my face in public again? And she's got this um new art um album. She's she's done about their relationship. This is me now, it's called, I think. Where it's like all the songs and everything is about Ben and Jenlo. This is not this looked orangey red in here. I just applied this one right here. This one. And it showed up like this one. What the hell? Another fail from this palette. This just ruined the look, I feel. This is ugly. What the hell? I'm going to take this off. I like this eyebrow product. Holy crap. I'm going to have to just... Swallow that price like a bitter pill. Cause like, look, like this is dollar store packaging. This is light plastic. And look how much, oh my God. Like a tiny little thing. I'm pretty sure it was $30. Let me check. You know, I'm going to check the details of that because I love, I love what it's doing on my eyebrows, pricey little portions of tiny products. Okay. Benefit. Yeah, $31. Oh my God. And it looks like there's enough shade for everybody. If I want to use a light on the front and a dark in the back I think the number 3.75 is good the one I'm wearing right now is good for the end but then if you like I prefer a lighter front because if if my eyebrows are too dark over here I look angry smaller brush okay yeah this is the morphe vegan pearl brush just patting it in there okay that's looking all right oh that's going really good with the, the blush This blush, I don't think I would be using it. I don't think I'll pull it out to use it because it's just, it's not so unique. Like I think I've, like I've used this kind of shade before. I want something different, something unique, something that I have not seen before. This is, this uh, Padas is a shade and I think that it's just your safe blush. That's a nice color. Wow. Finally, one color that I actually like from this palette. From Natasha Denona, um, I, the palette that I would recommend is my dream palette. It's more... It's her 
Most of her palettes are one trick ponies. That one is the one that is not. You can actually get a few looks from it. I think that this is a one trick pony. And the pony ain't doing good tricks. <laughs> it does little, little tricks. Maybe like a one trick pony, but little side steps that are not good. Like if you're going to meet your boyfriend's mom, you're gonna wear this. Cause then she won't be like, oh my God, like she wears flashy makeup or she is just one of those trendy girls. <laughs> those girls that only know how to do their makeup and don't know how to cook. Wear this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go in with psychedelic. Wait, okay. Yeah, that's the only other one I can use because all the other ones are ugly. I'm gonna use, okay. I'm gonna use both of these. Okay, so they're both shimmery pink. This one has a little bit of orangey, and this is more pink, like a light pink. So I'm going to put both of them, one on each eye, so we can see the difference. Right in the middle. This can also be a nice prom makeup or graduation makeup. Or are you going out for brunch? I'm getting another br brush and going into the other color. So this one has like a lilac pink uh, hue to it on the pan but on the eyes i have a feeling that they're going to look the same yep same natasha come on i still have a dry patch right there so I'll just ignore that so there we go Okay, no, 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 no. I'm going back with the other brush and I'm going to put some more on here. Yeah, this just has a little hint of orangey, golden orangey. I like how this is turning out. I like this method of application more than the prior that I did in my other video where I did the matte lipstick all over. I like this much better. This palette is awful. I do not like this palette. Oh, eyeshadow next. Okay. I mean, um, eyeliner. Okay, so this is my latest strategy with eyeliner. Because I am done with spending so much time doing the eyeliner. Start there in the corner. Oh my goodness, look at that. Then I'm gonna bring it in here more if you want. Oh, okay, that's too much. But I'm going to go over here. So 
So this eyeliner is from Amazon. And I think different companies sell this or different sellers on Amazon. So um, just type or search on Amazon stamp eyeliner or something like that and you'll find it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the smaller one. The smaller stamp because I still don't want I still I wanted to do most of the work. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, that is as far as you want to go with these stamps. And then you do this. You can actually just leave it like that. Maybe just clean up this and leave it like that. But if you want to pull it in, you have the tip on the other end. lay it almost flat what is it called um 45 degrees angle i don't know degrees to me means temperature because i'm in canada Oh yeah, see that darling? Oh you don't have to like it's less less it's more goof proof. <laughs> okay, and now um to clean it up now for this thing to clean up the um hold on a second, sorry. I have a fan right here that is hitting my my hair okay so i'm gonna go and uh see what i can do with this i didn't put anything in here because i was contemplating using the eyeliner i mean the um the concealer hmm. i don't want to go into that concealer so i'm gonna see if i because i don't want to dirty it I'm afraid. Okay, perfect. Not perfect, but it will do. I think. <laughs> and um, this eyeliner comes out very nicely, easily when you're like um washing your your face, removing your makeup, no problem. And these eyeliners. Um, they're under $20, I believe, for the two of them. So, it's good. <laughs> Darling, this is the finished look. I didn't, I'm not adding any um, eyelashes because this is a very safe look. So, this is good enough. I think that the eyeliner helps to um, define your eye just perfectly. So, now I'm going to talk about... Oh the products now benefit product so um 3.75 is what i'm using and it's my favorite because it's got more of a golden undertone the other two three and 3.5 are more grayish and i like nothing gray okay so like i mentioned this is a very cheap 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 dollar store packaging Oh my god this is dollar store like this cost them like five cents to make yeah super plastic oh my god I can't believe it okay let's see so this is warm medium brown 3.75 and 1.9 grams and 0 0.6 ounces six months for usage easy brow filling powder 
Okay, that's what it's called. Goof Proof Brow Powder. Let me um, go read the claims on this. So this is a new product. It just came out. But I... So we have 159 um, reviews, 5 stars. But a lot of this I've noticed that are they are from incentivized. So that means that they got it for free or something. Um, okay, wait, so I'm trying to sort it out. Okay, one. One review that is not incentivized. Which means they didn't get it for free or they're not part of their promotion. Just one. And this person gave it five... Uh, um, Five stars, and she is reviewing, he or she is reviewing shade five, warm black brown. I am a chef and sweat a lot. Prefer prow for my thin brows, but use pomade for the longevity. This stuff is a dream come true. It lasts my entire shift without smudging. Ooh, very nice. So just one review. So 158 reviews are people that just got the product for free or they have a motive to give five marks and give it like perfect reviews so always go check the reviews that are that are non-incentivized you can actually um pick you can actually just see the ones that are non-incentivized the reviews that are not incentivized you can actually um sort them out and not see those because those are invalid in my opinion okay so um what else did i so oh wait i did not read the i need to read the claims on it okay i'm impressed with it so that's why i'm going to I am reading all the claims. So, okay, so an easy to use brow powder that is great for brow newbies and pros. Used to fill in brows and separate areas for a blended brow look. This easy to use lightweight pressed powder is a must have for everyone's makeup. Uh, makeup bag, it effortlessly fills in sparse areas for natural looking blended brows. The silky soft powder adheres to skin and hair and gives brows texture and dimension. It is also buildable and blendable. And color stays true. I agree. I agree with... I don't... While I was reading, there wasn't anything that jumped out at me and I was like, no, that's not true. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then they just have some. Oh, so it says 12-hour uh, long wear. Okay, that I cannot co-sign <laughs> because I have not worn it for that long. Okay, so yeah, that's it, darling. That's it for uh, today's makeup look. <sighs> the blush. Ooh.